Connie is going to be working with Chameleon Pens and they are those pens that do all kinds of variations in color just with one pen. And you're gonna custom color some dyes for us here today? You bet. So basically, I, you're creating this happy effect that you have here on the cart? I am. Okay. So you can see how it's kind of variegated color and it's dimensional. So that's really easy to do. With, uh, with one pen? One pen. With one pen from Chameleon, you can get all these different colors. So we'll just basically customize our die cut with okay. a couple of simple tools. So the die is a thin cut from close to my heart. Um, it's beautiful. Again, it comes on that magnetic pack. Magnetic and sheet, and that's so nice because it doesn't slide around when you're storing it. Yeah, so we'll just die cut the word happy. And what kind of cardstock are you using there, Connie? I'm using close to my heart whisper white cardstock. Okay. I love it. It's nice and smooth. You're running it through the Sizzix Big Shot. Usually you do the cranking I for me. I do, but you're on that side of the table, so I don't, I'm just standing here looking pretty. I got brand new Big Shot plates too, oh. so I'm a happy girl. It cuts like butter. Oh, I love it when that happens, when it comes out so nice. Yeah, they're beautiful dyes. Very nice. Yeah. And then you have to poke them out. Oh, that's a fine detailed. Fine. <laughs> okay, wow. far happy. And then we're going to color it with the chameleon um, alcohol marker. And they come in all kinds of colors. Holy doly. So we'll do blue today. Okay. So I'm going to use the brush tip. And so you can make it look however you want. I like the Just very using the color. Sorry, that's what you're doing right now. Yeah. So she's pushing the color down into the nib so that the darker color goes to the bottom, the lighter color stays at the top, right? Yes. Is that right? So we'll just start to color. Okay. And so we're going to go from light to more intense. And then when we think we should go back to light again, we'll stop and we'll diffuse. And so we'll get our lighter shades of blue. So I usually wait five to 10 seconds, depending on how light you want to go and how long you want to color for each turn. I always just do a test. Just do a uh, test to see if it's at the right lightness. Yeah, so we just keep coloring, coloring. So after I finish doing the variegated coloring, I'm not too fussy about missing a few spots because I take this colorless blender pen that's also in your chameleon set and I just kind of blend. Oh yeah. So it just kind of smooths out and spreads the color a little bit. Well, actually one of the things I like about this technique that you're doing is that you actually, you know, you can be all over the place. You don't have to stay in the lines because it actually looks great when you go to emboss it over top. Yes. I think. So in my opinion. opinion. I'm not that patient, so. So well, there you go. We'll smear it all around. Okay, so then we want to put on our layers of dimension. Because you want to catch all this. Yeah. So I use, um, you can use a, a watermark ink like Versamark. And so basically just direct to paper. And I think it's important to tell everybody, like look at how dirty mm -hmm. Connie's yes. Versamark pad is. And that is still a good pad. Like it's oh. still nice and juicy. You can still re-ink it and keep on using it. I think Kathy Allen calls it her uh, her dirty pad, her dirty little Honestly, girl. Honestly, yeah. I've had this 15 years. I They just last forever. And she keeps it. Okay, so now you got some embossing powder. Yeah, so for this, you can use whatever clear embossing powder. In uh, Close to My Heart Cells Ranger clear embossing powder, which is a, a really nice one. So you have a coat. I like how you have it in a bath, like a, a, a embossing. Yeah, bath. otherwise it gets messy. Okay. So I buy a big tub of embossing powders and the colors I use all the time. Yeah, I love that. I do that too. Oh, oh you need to have your, there we go. So I put on three coats of this embossing powder to get a nice smooth raised image. And it's very quick. You see how it's melting? I love heat embossing, it's like magic. Do you put another layer of Versamark and then I dip do. it in? Okay. I do. Now, if you're really, really fast, you can put this in while it's hot, but I'm never that fast. So what I do is I melt the first layer, 
And you can see it's still kind of bumpy, um, but every layer that we put on now will smooth it out. So I just ink it up again. And that's the beauty of working on this um, Ranger yep. non stick mat. You can just plunk stuff down on there and you don't have to worry about it. Number two. Plus, I'm kind of messy girl, but I don't have to worry about this. That's beautiful. Look at how that's raised so nice. Yeah, it's it looks so fancy like you just it made does. an epoxy And it didn't look like when you were doing it that it was gonna turn out quite that nice So there you go. That looks great. You know what, Connie. I know you did something here as well to this uh, Twine using your markers or your pens Those are happy. I'll yeah, there. so the, the beautiful thing about chameleon markers too is I can customize my twine color um, So close to my that. heart. It's all the plain white twine um, so what I've done is I've just attached the end with a little piece of washi tape and wound it around a piece of cardstock. Oh, this is so this is such a cool little tip. I love oh, this. This is this is so quick, right? Yeah. So you just wound it and then you take your chameleon marker, and it doesn't even matter which end. And then you just make some easier stripes. if it's closest together. Yeah, some stripes. You can go straight or you can go at an angle. Just let's put let's put your hand on this side, if you can. Yeah, and I'll hold that. There Keep we them go. close together. Yeah. So we're basically creating those stripes that's on this uh, card right here. On yeah. The so you that's can awesome. You can do the front and the back, and that's how it turns out, right? So you have twine that exactly matches your die cut because you've used the same marker. To and then to wrap all this card up, I see that you've used the Brother Sewing Machine. I did. To create uh, this little frame that's going around the sides. Yep, so I dry embossed with the Close to My Heart embossing folder, the background, and then I ran it with I some... I right here. Yeah, I ran that. it with some turquoise uh, thread from my Brother Sewing Machine. It just dresses it up a little bit and frames the card. And you keep your Brother Sewing Machine set up in your scrapbook room all yeah. the time, don't you? Yeah, I do. So you can be a scrapbooker, you can be a sewer, you can be an inker, you can be a stamper. It's all wonderful. We love it all. Thank you so much, Connie, oh, for it's showing fun. us that fun technique. I'm going to be doing that at home. <laughs> all right. Well, good. <laughs> Perfect. This is really neat.